There comes your host Bobby, uh, and I am going to do today a video on an individual from Police Psychiatric Hospital, Ljubljana Polje, uh, and General Hospital. Novel mess I have sent uh, to me so that I could be hospitalized and I tried to do my best this is a doctor this is a physician uh, it's about the neighbor here it's not really a neighbor he's a neighbor from Dr. Igor Kotar that is right here in the rear two houses down but his house this is the last one here in the street probably like four houses maybe away from here um, and uh, what's interesting about this is actually you know I was trying to save his ass I was trying to come in in a rescue I was trying to you know the words I was trying to give him an interview uh, because he signaled readiness for the interview which um, and next to what he at first claimed was they prepared him they tutored him on how to uh, give me an injection right here uh, to I guess lessen uh, a tumor issue which they created during MK Ultra and play with. Uh, yeah, my sim. I will not use his services anytime soon. Uh, and uh, It's not what I like to do, but I will have to book this guy in a hostel. That's what they said during MK Ultra when you say book one in the hostel. That means jail time. That's how they refer to it during MK Ultra. Um, the whole thing started actually a few days ago. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe two days ago, I don't know, when he started to park car here, asking mom for the uh, key from the boat from downstairs. And uh, there's a physician, a doctor, physician, doctor. And uh, she wanted to go fishing a key in the boat. Uh, that's what this was all about, is what he told me. That's actually what mother told me. Uh, he didn't say he was asking about mom and so on, but that was it. Um, something eventually that even started with imitation of whatever my mother, psychiatrist, cops, police, uh, politicians, obviously anticipated would be like a major intimidation because they played with they all the time playing with the phones my mommy has a phone that now it changed uh, to the old phone which psychiatrist cops translated to me it's when you hear this phone this is a police siren it's a police siren and my mommy forgot uh, to pay for the insurance and so I managed to record the whole thing We're basically already explaining exactly what the scenario was once she received her letter because if you don't pay on time then they send you a separate spot in Slovenian they say um, a pay order 
I've already forgotten what that means. Um, just a base stuff that you have to already with account your information deposit or I don't know um, so that you make and pay your dues and so this is what the mailman ring uh, yesterday a bell mail people they had their own stories you know. Uh, and so on and so forth and then again today and my mom instead went ahead and suggested me that first it was a package that needs to be paid for on her name it was just a polo pololožnica uh, a payment basically I don't know how to say that Stupid shit, uh, which police translated in MK Ultra is the first is going to be a mother that is going to get the letter. And it's interesting because mom didn't even bother to pick up the letter when this letter, which is stated it's a package, arrived. Um, actually, the letter she stated it's a letter that needs to be paid for. A letter that needs to be paid for, never heard for that. But who knows? Who the fuck knows? Maybe there's some money in there in your pay. And uh, you got it, right? Yeah. And uh, police insisted she will get, she will be the first one. So she didn't bother to collect it from the mail office yesterday. Uh, and so. She did today. I took her to the postal office. However, it was also this morning that the mail guy exactly to MK Ultra orders a ring on the on the bell uh, so that I would get exactly the same kind of letter. Just like police suggested, it's basically full of all kinds of provocations, intimidation based on MK Ultra. Insanity, schizophrenia, which Slovenian police engaged in under the leadership, under the supervision of psychiatrist Peter Kaps, took upon himself to, uh, you know, for the whole thing to be the way he felt, you know, psychologically suitable to the, to the lies, basically. Uh, something I have proven as lies because I told her before she even picked up the letter. I recorded, I recorded all this stuff, so. So, the Harland uh, at the same time did not, three days ago, according to MK Ultra, I heard something about outside when I was. He spoke to her about something, Sotiana, something like that, that he will contact Sotiana, something like this, you know, that he will basically, it sounds like social services that he's gonna something. The thing is that it's not even intimidating a little bit to me. And I let just the two chit chat. I just said go. Um, don't want to have nothing to do with it. Uh, but then again today the car was there, and I was thinking about this guy a little bit. Was this the scenarios that came to my mind or in MK Ultra in which he urged because they poisoned me like a fuck. Tortured and poisoned. And this guy always played like a good guy, you know. In the midst of this torture, he would take me uh, on a boat fishing and stuff like that. Uh, and he was just so deeply understanding, understandable. Uh, but, you know. And always so handy during MK Ultra. Um, useful uh, to the people who did ugly stuff. Even with belief that he would talk to what, a neighbor psychiatrist cop also 
Dr. Igor Kolotar here, the neighbor in Kapsch, dreamed about that he they will use him to talk to Germans and English, whatever. Germans, not English, but Germans, that he would speak to Germans. And it was the stuff that he wanted me to talk about. All through, he told me repeatedly. And that's how they fuck you, basically. Now, if you don't remember this kind of stuff, you're fucked. You know, you're not fucked, you're just less credible, maybe. Who knows? Next to so many lies they do. Whatever these people told me, the Renan Kelch, it didn't make no fucking sense because it was always lies they additionally embedded. So their stories, their accounts, they made no fucking close to no, no fucking sense whatsoever. And this whole thing that matters is whatever I tell went on during MK Ultra because this is actual and factual account about what truly was happening. And so he demanded from me to acknowledge everything because he had a German name, Harlander, that he is not fluent in German. Uh, instead that he speaks English, something like that, and it could be also vice versa, I don't fucking know. Uh, but that was like very, very meaningful to me and personal to me, especially because they gesture would be Germans that uh, he would assist them with against me. And since this is about schizophrenia, you know, it would, it would be rather strange that he really would speak uh, German, like his last name is Harbander, right? So, uh, for that matter, for that reason, I also believe that instead he speaks English. He was very, very particular about it, which, again, it could be vice versa, I don't know. It, it really doesn't matter, but it indicates not a very good side of this individual, um, completely blonde, when he was young, short hair, you know, even uh, even during MK Ultra when I saw him, he looked like he was completely shaved actually, so short, you know, tall, German looking, uh, nice, understandable, compassionate with me, uh, in a sense that he had to act awkward in front of politicians from Ljubljana. Um, and I say act because I think it had a lot to do with the acting. They wanted me to make assumptions, they wanted me to uh, basically deny myself based on violence. Um, I don't know if anybody would actually kill him uh, or his life was at stake, if he would have been nice to me. But I definitely am sure that um, he would not persist, he would not participate for too long, is what I'm trying to say, if you understand. There is no place for really nice people in MK Ultra. Uh, now, there are different crimes people do. Some are negotiable, none is forgivable, uh, and some are simply not negotiable. What started with the provocation with the social services and stuff, because this is what Slovenian police built based on abuse they performed against me uh, in 2012. I don't know how much you remember, but I actually video recorded Sveto Gradišar was his name, a psychiatrist who was involved in this case since my childhood. And he would walk 
at invitation of my mother. She, he was at the Berger residence here, and it was mother who went in, well, self-invitation, right? It had to be completely exact. He, he invited himself, right? Because it was uh, police director Ogolin who stated me before the hospitalization that he's gonna send one of the two psychiatrists, which I supposedly liked during MK Ultra. Isn't that fucking crazy? <laughs> uh, sick shit. But that was a police chief, Johannes Ogolin. I don't know how the fuck you would like uh, being that threatened, uh, beaten up, not only that threatened, tortured. Uh, abused most severely and told that he'll send you one of the two psychiatrists just prior to hospitalization as a way out actually he even suggested that would be like a help you know so he asked me which one do you like and he negotiated the issue, for which I didn't fucking understand what the fuck he was up to. You know, you can explain individual crazy stuff like this, but this is just to intimidate, to more harass, to add more to problems. And that's exactly what police director Janusz Ogulin, whom uh, British royals have deputized. This guy was involved in MK Ultra. Since I was a child, probably. Deputized, literally, by the London. Not only by Ljubljana politicians. But the deputy from Ljubljana, from Belgrade, from Moscow. And, you know, I'm never gonna forget the day when he was deputized as the director of Novo Mesto Police. When he gave me a... And he sworn, next to swearing in as a police director, he told me he became a police director to destroy me, to get me killed. Not to solve the case or anything, I guess in 2009. It took them more than three years to get me inside a psychiatric hospital. And the whole thing was based on lies. And probably the biggest violence I endured during MK Ultra which went on between 2008 actually since my return from the US in 2006 you know, somewhere exactly somewhere in the middle of it so the British invested I think everything they had to get me destroyed hmm? So the same kind of invitation that I witnessed a few days ago, basically, my mom, this and that, both, so on. That's what they threatened, that's what's gonna be. Mom is gonna tell, all I gotta do is uh, file the report, social services, and so on. I says to your mom, uh, you're gone, and so on and so forth. Oh, there was people like this. A lot of people who try to intimidate like this with this kind of issues, including with other day when I was at the home for elderly people with a mom, a technician who works at the department where father is, who suggested in MK Ultra that his approach to me was whenever I would visit home for elderly people, to always get straight into my face and move his hands. This is a guy who would get to you like this, and he was moving the hands and doing all kinds of threats, all kinds of blah blah, aggressive, also engaged in torture, and who also tried the other day his luck with intimidation. When I was with mom, uh, according to MK Ultra scenario, uh, because it was a mom, and it would be mom that. Uh, would testify for him 
Any time I was with my mom at, at the father, whenever I visited father, he was aggression to a degree that I wanted to launch, and I did try to launch, complain against my mom at the nursing staff. Then I walked away from it. You already know all that stuff about what went on. And so, probably made him feel that um, at least he can intimidate me or something like that. Because it's a lot about repeating issues from MK Ultra. And so, I'm not sure if he could count on my mom because I don't think anybody can. Uh, my mom is involved in a lot of problems and so she would not be the best witness for you. I mean, it doesn't matter whatever would take place in front of her, even if you would ask her, he wouldn't do your shit. And so the guy jumped in my face and started to uh, also... This, 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 this also happened about, I don't know, something over a week ago, like you know, maybe, I don't know, about a week ago, I'm going to say, right? So, he tried to intimidate. He came into my face uh, and started to move hands and so on and so forth, uh, explaining when asking him about Simple thing, I think it was related about uh, about the physical exercise, about the, his, you know, if his therapy as far as with exercise or might have been actually, I don't know what the issue was, but I'm always very polite to the people until they cross line. If they cross line, uh, then, you know, I have to do my part, basically, that's what I'm going to say. Opportunity for which he stated that he will video record me. That's what's interesting to note. Opportunity for which he claimed that he would have uh, even police called on me if I would act against him, uh, you know, despite any kind of sign of aggression or something like that, you know. So, you know, I the only thing I did was. I did the same thing he did, basically, without actually moving hands uh, because he likes to get into the face. Then I did the same thing and I did so long till he actually had to back down, put the tail between the legs and simply run through the door. If, you know, I'm not going to say because these people did put hands on me, I don't think he would dare to do it again, but, you know, I'm just saying. A lot about intimidation, a lot about them proving, uh, especially in front of the mother trying to make the point that it's just not happening. The same thing happened with the doctor, this one here next door. Nothing from 2012 uh, psychiatrist. Sveto Gradisha, who came to intimidate uh, and got ambulance here with a fire department uh, is actually justifying a terror which they afterwards repeated and repeated to different people, different issues involving how they would do this. Nothing is Nothing is actually happening for them. Um, they try their best. They get people they use on a daily basis to imitate Nurse Yevich from Psychiatric Hospital in Ljubljana, Polje. Um, uh, psychiatrist Zoran Muja. A number of psychiatrist people that were involved in it. Nothing seems to me is happening to them. They could celebrate. Uh, feel they have managed to accomplish with intimidation or something like that. Nothing is coming along. 
eventually even the van, a white van today, and it was an interesting day because it was really Kia, uh, like the one nurse from a psychiatric hospital, uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss, uh, no, Marissa, Mrs. Andrea Yevich abused with another lady, they would come here, the two nurses, a blonde lady, and turn exactly in the direction I went. I repeated, everything repeated from MKUltra with psychiatrist cops, obsessed with the idea to intimidate. I have no idea how much time I spent with this guy sitting inside of the car. I don't know if I already recorded that kind of stuff, but driving back and forth through the city, also with the police, and interpreting me all kinds of issues is uh, but they were trying to create this type of uh, I assume it's probably PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder related kind of stuff um, now this is just horrific the mistreatment I endured in a psychiatric hospital in Ghana Poly you know I did talk about that stuff, I would, this opportunity, and this is what finally British royals started to build their case against me. Since I can't find this truly, truly pathetic, cowardly stuff, uh, difficult to actually describe, that uh, you know, I eventually placed my fate in the hands of people like this, but. And that's basically what he comes to. That's what he came to, basically. Not even the police van who was behind me today. We the pedestrian that was... She did not run toward the sidewalk, because that's what they do. Just before you would go, uh, just through the sidewalk with the car, they would have people sometimes even waiting on a fucking sidewalk so that you would stop them and so on. And today, MKUltra pertains to uh, what was similar. I don't know if it was a police car or not, van actually, but psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was extremely excited about vans, about the police vans. In Vance overall, so I see a gentleman here who was involved in MKUltra. He is on a frequent basis driving past our house, and it's possible that he's got more vans. I don't know. He was involved in it, he had a van. And I think he is from possibly, I'm not sure, even if he is from this village. And uh, I'm not sure because he negotiated with the people who had van. Uh, to drive with the vans through the village all the time. So what he believed was I would see them through the window and intimidate me, that kind of stuff. This is a type of shit. <laughs> this is a type of shit Slovenian police is paying for, not only getting paid. Uh, and today, well, really, the lady, I'm not, she didn't run, okay? You can't. This shit is on camera. But so quickly approached the sidewalk. But it was so slow actually when compared to the car that I slowed down right at the sidewalk before she reached the sidewalk. But wouldn't stop one or something like that. But she slowly continued through the sidewalk. So actually. The car behind me, for whom I was told I'm going to have a problem if I will stop, literally by the police during MK Ultra, uh, would understand about what goes on. Zero respect for bullshit is what's going on. So the same shit applied to. 
Dr. Harlander, who started his portion of MK Ultra related to my Definitely is a tumor. How much this thing is cancerous? Probably is not at this point in time. I don't know. The thing is, it could easily explode into the cancer, fully blown cancer. Because it was issues like this they played with during MK Ultra. It takes exactly, according to the police, one day and a half of total starvation. And exercise. Total starvation, therefore no food and exercise to get rid of this thing here. And basically I was told it actually returns one. I never was, I never starved myself, this is the thing. During MK Ultra, that was a frequent procedure next to the lecture shocks. Because I was asked, how come that you don't remember events and stuff like this? There was a lot of madness that went on during MK Ultra. And there were reasons. It's not that I wouldn't remember or recall, but this is more about the affordability than if you go to the dealer next door. This is more about affordability to state, to say, much more because you can end up for the rest of your life in some psychiatric institution then, you know, to go to the next door to the Ford Bill or wherever and sign. This is a different issue. This is a different kind of issue. Shit like uh, stuff I mentioned right now or even at house sale is a fucking joke compared to the issues like this. If you ever thought about that, but I did during that KL try. I considered that stuff too. They did their best to get me into this stuff before I would even have proofs to destroy me. And even that I had proofs, they went ahead and destroyed me. In 2010, I pointed out locations in Karlstad. I started to talk about the horses, about the stuff that went on. And they admitted, it, but pushed forward even harder with the idea to smash me. Destroy me. They tell you all you got to do is you got to tell about MK Ultra this and that. And they don't want you to identify people and places, locations, and stuff like this they brainwash you with. They don't want you to go fucking talk about stuff they did to you without having a proof. And uh, you know. next to the United Nations, as it is, you are as good as dead. You don't exist, actually. You're like in a matrix that is somewhere on some program website that you see and, you know, they keep you away from people as far as the fuck they can. And even suspend your channel and so on channels for you to remain invisible, to drive you crazy, insane. Not even about income anymore. It doesn't stop the abuse when it starts. It's so easy to see a person that was subjected to MKUltra. What started as a nice gesture on how he would actually help me out with this, you know, I gotta tell you, uh, I did some physical exercise and um, When I did exercise for the upper body, it hit me right here. It, it hit me right here and it was the whole neck, the whole side that turned into pain. Um, and this shit would not go away for me uh, for like a good at least, uh, you know, two uh, two weeks at least. So that really, really sucked because 
it's a new one I deal with. I, I manage to get over other issues. I figure out what to do to go past them. Uh, this is kind of a new one. I during MK Ultra, um, I don't actually recall it would be so fucking bad that it would get like this crazy. I mean, this shit was just uh, really, really bad. It's better now. It's totally loosened up, down. Uh, I would stop exercise anytime. And uh, now I see this from a much more serious perspective now than what I did earlier. And it's well on, and it's exactly the help that pops up out of nowhere. Just as you think, you're completely on your own, as good as dead. Somebody comes to your rescue, or does he? And it's your neighbor, it's your blonde Slovenian pal from MK Ultra with a German name. Uh, that's actually, that was so nice that he insisted that MK Ultra is gonna uh, just pass hospital, pass medical services, pop me injection right here exactly to what other physicians have told one, repeatedly asked one, in front of his neighbor, Dr. Igor Kotter, if he would know where and how. Apparently, because I don't know anything about this physician, exactly what he does, this physician's lied, basically. I'm not saying that he lied, but many physicians even lied about what they are specialized in. And my God, uh, I remember it could be that he's not from this type of field, that he's not exactly, um, you know, doing stuff like this, right? But so uh, it appeared that he was actually getting like, sort of training, sort of education. And then again, this could be all for purposes of the schizophrenia. This is how Slovenian police uh, gets proofs. That's what they call proofs. You know, you make a statement and then you are, you know, it's like Ogulian stated, all we do is watch your videos. All we do is we watch stuff you, you write about and whatever is doubtful uh, or even not properly explained, we write down. So, uh, for that matter, it's very important to clarify these issues. He's uh, been a, uh, how you say that, been a, Okay, he's, um, oof. he's um, goodwill, he's uh, will to hell, uh, voluntad, turned the opposite direction when uh, he started to suggest me In front of the police, in front of the police, started to suggest me that would be visiting mom, uh, and that I shouldn't assume this is all during MK Ultra. Uh, he popped up here, like I said earlier today again, left the car, reminded me of the stuff about this. Uh, uh, conversation we had at the boat about uh, giving me an injection and he would disappear and then here again he would give me a he gave a mother a call in the afternoon I answered the phone because she was outside and um, um, he wanted me to tell something that he left on a table for the mom um, and
little that I understood what he wanted to say, something with uh, strawberries that uh, it was either, I don't know, either a drink or something that is used for the strawberries, whatever it might be. Um, and further mentions on how he's going to come uh, in just a few minutes, in 10 minutes. So I said, oh, I mean, if you're going to come in 10 minutes, then this was mine. You should probably just tell mom yourself, right? I mean, if you're going to come for a visit. And yeah, I was nice to him, uh, which was already one of the things these people uh, complain about, I understand, to police also, talking about the so-called relatives and the friends that whenever I would call, I was nasty to them and so on. That's the kind of stuff they wrote on my complaint. Uh, the thing is that these callers who called this home prior to hospitalization, they all were involved in NK Ultra. They all were involved in torture, not NK Ultra. They all played accordingly with their telephone calls, intimidations, harassment. And then you get to answer the phone calls that are connected to the phone that you can hear on the other side of the village. As well as to a, a school ring, like a kind of ring they have in, in the school. Maybe I can demonstrate it because my father, my poor father, he could not hear. So it was this type of ring that he installed, like, you know, the one that you have in the school or, uh, I don't know, fire department or something like that. That fucking blows your brain out when it rings. A bit hard to deal with when you anticipate ambulance vehicle in front of your house at any time. This is the shit they were doing to me next to uh, mail they would deliver to me on a daily basis from the lawyers accusing me stuff, basically defense lawyers accusing me stuff that there was not even written on a state complaint about. They intimidated, harassed, lied, and they were looking for something that I would do that would justify, just like Rachel Maddow stated, uh, you will commit crime sometimes in the future. You're charged today, but this is for the crime you will commit sometimes in the future. I got myself a shirt that's about this color, like this, and it's the same color like the uniform, but it's a t-shirt, it's not, really it's not, but it's, it's that color, and because psychiatrist corruption police refer to one as a psychiatric shirt, we will not destroy you this one, so it will remind you when you have to go to the such age hospital. Uh, there was a large play with a clothing also that was involved in it. Um, but the thing is that not a music, not a clothing intimidated me. Mm, I actually like it because uh, it's a proof because Oh, you definitely use press charges also based on that. And uh, because, you know, nothing is really certain in this world, I mean. One thing is worth fighting for in this life, ladies and gentlemen. That's, might not even be your wife or your husband. Might not even be your children. God forbid, really your mom or your dad that's your sanity fuck yeah that's the thing it's worth fighting for that's one thing i say to you you should never let go if you're right and i say power to you do whatever you have to to get it done so next to all these issues
Dr. Harlander. Came up with a scenario on not giving me an interview because he disappeared. The first thing, based on MK Ultra, when the phone would ring and when he would say, 10 minutes I'll be there, was for me to quickly prepare myself and be ready for the sake uh, for the for the doctor Harlander and wait for one right outside uh, at the table that is right in front of the entrance if I demonstrate you this is the number one thing okay? this was the instructions and then maybe just maybe he would give me um, an interview there's a table here outside the oh, fuck. right here so, I don't know, I should have a sun umbrella here, right? Where is it? Here, almost romantic, you know? Me, I'm not gonna say guitars, but me, and uh, a doctor, and you know, unlike in 2013, we would do a pleasant interview. But, Unfortunately, things did not turn that way. There's always that behind scenario during MK Ultra, right? Because this kind of stuff is used to drive one crazy. In between, it was all kinds of stuff that took place. Uh, he teach me basically how to chop the carrots and how the pasta looks like. Actually, he was one of the nicest people, really. I shouldn't say this because he was always patient in the kitchen, nice. Um, but it was <laughs> um, not difficult to know, not difficult to figure out. You don't do something like this to somebody like myself. You know, these doctors, they were extremely cocky about themselves, all of them. Uh, and maybe the most deserved for that stuff was the guy here, two houses away from here, Dr. Igor Kotar. He was so cocky about it. He was like, he acted like some kind of a tough cop, you know, you see in the US, that is just uh, full of shit, basically, full of knowing, you know, everything. Uh, which doesn't even bother me. Like some kind of older cop or whatever ways they have for their lives. I don't fuck with that stuff. I let people be whatever they be. I easy. I'm easy. Unless you step on my toes. Too much. Um, what exactly is too much in a case like this? <laughs> you, know, you have somebody like myself managing so much in life. And you're gonna fucking come and teach me about uh, basically how to see myself in a mirror, to feel normal about myself. Ooh, now probably the part you should just skip because he didn't do it to so many good, any good. And he did just that, you know. Um, Uh, in Croatia, they say mandolina. They say mandolina. Mandolina is an instrument uh, that someone looks like a, a, this they have in Dalmatia in Dalmatia. And it's a beautiful instrument. It's also nice. Uh, actually, they also have that in Slavonia. They have all over Croatia this stuff. Uh, it's also, you know, like a small guitar. Ding, 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 ding. The interview with the mandolina did not happen outside in front of the house that we both dreamed about consequently because of what he did, he was doing with me, how the two of us are going to see it and we have a conversation about all this stuff, manly conversation. But there was other scenario that happened. Dr. Harlander, I would go out, oh, I don't know. Huh? 
wouldn't fucking see one. Um, I go prepare myself. I put a nice, beautiful little shirt. T shirt I had this color. So I want to look sharp. I want to make sense out of this interview. Um, nothing in life comes with uh, warranties, you know. Nothing. Um, you always have to take some risk. Um, you know, nothing in life is certain. Nothing comes with the warranties in life. You always have to take in account certain risk. But you know, this is what makes life interesting, isn't it? It could be a problem that would develop. But so what? I mean, what are you here for? I mean, if you you have nothing to fear. I mean, if you are so certain, I thought about him that he was because he beamed this certainty that in MK Ultra, you know, or like, you know, absolutely correct. Uh, no mistake, immaculate. Uh, no fucking way anything could possibly go wrong. How about Dr. Harlander? She so disappointed me today. As soon as he popped up, as soon as he appeared, and I was ready to go down. Did some stuff on a terrace. The next thing you see is I take another, I don't know what I took, socks or something like that to hang them. I already see my mother by herself. She just came briefly and disappeared. And the next thing I see is a car right here in the back of the house at the front. He is pushing out and disappearing basically. I said to myself, goodbye the interview. But wait, there was another scenario behind that stuff. This is almost like, you know, like you would have a magician uh, or you would have like a uh, something that you would cover with and you would pull out and then you would have another piece that would be that would cover something and again you would pull one out and it would be another piece and you would keep going and then covering this stuff this is like different scenarios pop up on a picture well this scenario was much more stressful much more demanding in this scenario dr harlander no, Mr. Police. And the ambulance vehicle drivers insisted on uh, Actually, I skipped a little bit. I went too far when I did pull that bump sound. There was more about here at the front entrance. Um, and it was also the reason why I put the shirt on, that shirt that, that reminds of the psychiatric hospital of Ljubljana Polje. I did so because uh, he intimidated the Rina MK Ultra uh, that what, what would be nice interview, he further intimidated in front of my mom that would be the best for me not to talk to him because he does have authority to place me in the psychiatric institution, especially if the mother would give him a request and he would, he would go and contact through, I don't know, police or social services that would give him uh, the right to do just that with me. So you see, uh, all of a sudden, that picture about that interview gets a completely different uh, background. Uh, this appears in the picture, but since these people are so sure about their ability and to intimidate and to have ability to do something about it, right? 
But I wanted to give him a chance because, you know, I always love to give people a chance. Whatever chance you're for, I always go out there and give people a chance. Always, I always do that. Man, I've given people a chance so much and so much and no less that sometimes I deliberately even acted and act a little stupid. Uh, people would say crazy. So, I mean, that would add, you know, additional plus or would add more credibility to whoever wants to challenge or whoever is challenging. Because when the truth gets through, and with me, the truth gets through, yeah, the truth looks even uglier for that reason too. I say, I don't care, I care. Oh yes, I care. But I'm gonna give you all the fucking credit in this world you want to earn with the public, with the people. Discredit me, do it, use it. To put you right in front of your mirror, basically. For the public to know and see who you are. I don't have a problem with it. The more, the merrier. What was so many times done with a threat in front of my mom, just like the guy that works at the department where my father is, disappeared through the front entrance, through the front gate, so quickly, it was all gone. Smoke living me with absolutely no chance for any kind of interview. No way, even what he suggested would be, you know, that I would come downstairs. That's where they had me, the police, they did, in front of him and in front of the mother. And then he would start to yell, screaming me stuff, and intimidate me with issues. What is it gonna be? How is it gonna be? Now, he had some scenarios ready in front of mother, when I would go, that he would pull out, and based on those scenarios, I would react to him and I would give him the grounds to talk to my mom. He didn't want to hear nothing about MK Ultra. He just didn't want to um, He insisted that if I would mention anything about MK Ultra, it would definitely be a psychiatric hospital. This disappearance of him at the front gate. However, it was not just so, um, so, so, as I say. You know, like I said, there is another box that you pull and you want to cover. Uh, he intimidated me, not intimidated me only, but challenged me. He dared me, you know, when you dare somebody to come to his home For what he referred to that, that would be even worse. That would be like a 100% hospitalization. Just right here, four houses away from here. He had me so many times. I mean, you go through the door and you go straight into the kitchen area. That's uh, located on the right side of the house. Especially because if it would be evening, if it would be evening, he claimed um, this guy presented himself like somebody who's going to resolve the problems, like a magic individual for all kinds of parties that were involved, including here, Kota and so on. That, like, you know, every group had somebody. An individual, like a chosen individual, and uh, this um, this guy was so stressed during MK Ultra uh, that I understand that he developed insomnia 
because of my case. This guy was so, this guy was not so certain. He was not so sure about himself, like he wanted to give the impression about that he was so, you know, everything so 100% and so on. He was not. Gotta see what the battery is like. All right. 74%, cool, charging. He went completely insane about the idea that I would come to him and do the interview with him in the evening hours, for which he also anticipated for the interview itself. More and more he felt insecure about it. That's a funny thing about, you know, when I told you about his risks you take in life. I think this guy tried to chew more than he could. And he stuck right somewhere in between realizing that he won't be capable to do this stuff like this for various reasons. If I would do injury with him at night, that he would just, that he could not sleep, I don't know what the fuck they did with him. He complained to me during MK Ultra that he spent the whole fucking night without sleep because of me. Um, that it just most likely would not even work out and uh, um, well if it wouldn't work out the main action was if it would not work out and if I would go to his home to do the interview in the evening hours 100% Psychiatry, 100% police, 100% uh, with literally ambulance workers in system meter in MK Ultra. Well, you're gonna go like this to the man in the evening, and you're gonna do that. We're definitely gonna fuck you. Because you know, you know what you do uh, with the with the interview and before the sleep. This was a big issue before the sleep. Oh, <laughs> I had no fucking idea that he's a 190 centimeters tall. Look like a strong guy. Uh, so confident. A doctor, a physician with a degree. Then he would come out so she can. I had no fucking idea. There was so much panic in him, so much scare, so much fear. I had no clue about this because he acted so with such a certainty. He was so sure. He was so appropriate. And he beamed self confidence. And I liked him for that matter he started to fuck with me and then he fucked some more uh, I don't know was it after he realized <laughs> that most likely it would be a hard interview uh, I said this is what the paranoia does to you a schizophrenia when you see shit that did not actually even happen yet and you already know exactly what the fuck is gonna happen before you're gonna meet the guy and talk to one Now, uh, hold on. He did have reason. Yeah, you know, just like I stated earlier, he did have a reason. I mean, he did bad stuff, right? When you do bad stuff, I mean, there is a good chance that something can turn really ugly. Now, well, knowing me, if he did the bad stuff, What can possibly not go wrong, right? No, not necessary. It all depends on a person. Some people, that's true, I wouldn't even talk to. Like, he is one of the people now. Um, but I was going to give him an interview uh, at his home. The more 
the better. I wanted to see basically, I mean, if, if, in his home, you know, that would definitely throw the suspicion on me if I would intimidate one or I would be unpleasant to him, right? I mean, in the evening hour, I mean, when you come, right? You have to be really appropriate with the people, of course. Under no circumstances would I go and, you know, and intimidate absolutely anybody. But I did took a trash bin, uh, actually a bag of trash into the trash bin here behind our house. Because it was so, so fucking loud. I had people dumping bottles right there after he disappeared through the front gate. Like fucking crazy. This shit is actually on the phone. I was sitting inside the kitchen. Boom, the fuck I hear. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. There was a lot of stuff that went on. That's the trash bin. Uh, and so I figured out that uh, I'm really going to make it sure that I go to his, you know, place. Not exactly to his home. Um, but. You know, maybe that we can bump to one another outside in, outside of his home. His house is the last house here in this street. You can't go any further. Uh, and uh, just the one before the last one, you know. And uh, there was nothing. The street was dead. Uh, the lights outside of the houses would turn on like... Uh, like they had this motion detectors and it was like it was like pick 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 you know everywhere the lights tick 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 um so nothing i uh turned around and i figured out that we know interview in that case and i had it home everything is over on the tape everything is audio recorded uh i figured out i won't be able to help him out I figure out the only thing he did was he tried to intimidate with the issues that I mentioned. Uh, there was no, not a trace of any kind of goodwill or anything. Um, um, he insisted to me during MK Ultra that the most I would fuck him would be if I would eat and eat and eat, which I did. I had a dinner uh, and then it'd be somewhat late. It was late. It was about like 8.30. Light was still outside when I headed to the neighbor here. Today is Friday, people. It's a happy day, right? Um, you know, and um at no available, at no available, he dreamed about how, um, oh. he dreamed about how I would deprive one of sleep, uh, especially that I would fuck him is what he reiterated during MK Ultra. If I would continue to eat, continue to eat slowly, because he inserted another uh, predisposition, another clause in MK Ultra. As soon as you see me right out of the door, you have to rush to me to do the interview with me. So basically, he wanted me at his home. And wanted to do so, like, yeah, I was doing the stuff, I mean, it was time for me to eat something again, and, you know. Um, when I started to eat, I realized that I was rushed even with the food. So he chose the date, day of the day, uh, time of the day, 
which he went on during MKO and manipulate the use even the food that Repipedia would get with this issue intimidations on how you have to rush over there and you know if you come to me at home it definitely will be a psychiatry it definitely will be this and that so no, I'm kind of figure out that uh, especially if you would take too long uh, and so on and so forth and you would not if you would eat for too long and so on now after I really ate myself in a comfort nicely I pick up my stuff and you know I head it to to Dr. Harlander. His name is Dushan. Dushan Harlander. Barely I mentioned him on the blog. Maybe once or twice in some video or something like that. I went ahead cautiously touched the issue of Harlander on my blog and I could not find an individual who was involved in this case, according to a Dr. Igor Kotar, since my sixth grade of uh, grammar school. Now, he was involved already before. His family was involved in it. His entire family was involved in it. Before even Igor Kotar knew about it, or at least he wanted me like, they did the stuff like this to reset the time. They would go and they would present somebody who really was involved. Every here and there, after so many and so many years, they would make the issue, depending on what. Or if they were wanted to hide something, it would be the same shit they would do. So, all kinds of issues they did to hide the stuff, to present the stuff inside and so on. And so I decided that I don't have a time for this bullshit. Uh, and we'll just do it this way. When somebody is trying to give you a hand, and that's all I try to do in this case, um, you know, you should give one interview, you should give one a chance because you can't go wrong really with it. Um, if he's gonna do with you whatever the fuck he's gonna do with you, he's gonna do whatever the fuck he's gonna do with you. But the chance is that maybe he will not give you the bad stuff, right? And so he missed his opportunity today. Like I said, I don't have time for this shit. I, there's no time here to waste. There's more stuff to do. The next time he's gonna see me, little bit is gonna be at the court. Little bit is gonna be with the police, either at the court. Let's just leave it at the court. I would not go at his home. So that was about the physician who was involved in this who administered bad stuff happening, um, played a good guy, nothing ever good came out of it, and exercised Mount Everest of even what he believed is going to be at one point in time, decisive intimidation, something that he could, you know, provide police with something to intimidate him and so on. And all this on scenario of Svetogradish, a psychiatrist who popped up here in 2012, just as I stated in the beginning of this video, at the request of the local who became a police director, Yana Zogurin. You know, the same kind of scenario, the same kind of shit. Try to intimidate, try hard, and they, they fail. They just they just keep falling shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, but they're optimistic. 
They truly are optimistic. I will tell you that they are optimistic because on the 25th last month, and that's now 15 days ago, I already was at the police. I wanted to meet with the police. I did put the stuff on the audio on the on the police station at the, uh, on the blog. And uh, they just they're fucking optimistic. They believe they still believe that uh, I don't know the sirens, the weirdos, the shit they do. The, uh, none of that stuff really. It doesn't work. And one step you make wrong, it's going to be very wrong for you. I'm telling this to everybody involved in it. One step wrong you make, a mistake you will regret dearly. That's all there is to it. Hey, you have the date, May 10, 2024. Now I should go and play mandolin. Nice music. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. I'm thinking if I let anything out, out of this video. Uh, ambulance drivers, police. Uh, Človeka motiti, opozni ori, bother man, at the late hour, taking away sleep from him. He blamed me several times that he lost sleep because of me, which I did not fucking understand anything. He did have me at his place. Uh, he did try to do interview with me inside of his kitchen. Oh, that's a very specific kitchen. Um, he doesn't have, uh, at least that's what he claimed, he doesn't have uh, chairs in one. It was, it was a stuff that he didn't have a chairs and, and table, but that he would put the table and chairs and so on. He did not know. This guy is so fucked up. This, this guy did not even know what the fuck to do to make it look like uh, uh, as uncertain as much as possible. I mean... He was catching himself with a middle finger, basically. Already during MK Ultra, he was just, he didn't know uh, what, how to, what it would be, what it would apply to. Basically, keep me away as far as possible, but to intimidate. And this is just not successful intimidation, I guess. He reiterated his. Uh, Magical powers, uh, doctor, doctor, physician, have capacity to call, have, uh, I can communicate with, uh, I can call, you know, uh, services, I can do this, and we can, we will do this, and then we will do that, and blah, 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 blah. but you know, that's why I do it like this, that's why I have, I have always audio recorder on, if you prefer me to, I also have to have camera on, I prefer that if you like, Anything to provide for your safety and for your comfort, of course, it is the main, it is a priority, is your safety. Uh, and of course, comfort, your well being, unless you do some uh, stuff that you shouldn't. That's all there is. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.